Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Some signs of a uh, free society are the ability to uh, express your thoughts and feelings freely without um, being uh, afraid of uh, negative retribution or um, you know um, consequences. That's one of them. The ability to go and protest and uh, not being afraid that you're going to be fired or you're going to be arrested or beaten up for uh, protesting or at least showing your um, expressing as, as I said your views on issues obviously that's that protest should be um, peaceful and I'm not talking about something that turns into a, a revolution or something I'm talking about a free society and uh, no need for a uh, revolution in a free society because uh, you uh, that should function freely <laughs> or at least uh, with not much uh, restriction imposed by the guys that are voted to represent you and do your bidding in this case we have germany which i don't think is a free society or a free free uh, country it's still under the u.s occupation and it has very much restrictive uh, free speech laws that would imprison you if you deny certain uh, historical events which i think that's outrageous you can i mean you can deny if you go to more and say well i don't think that uh, let's say uh, uh, emmanuel macron exists or i don't believe that uh, there was a vietnam war Pff, nobody would care but if you say i don't believe that uh, this uh, i have questions uh, this and that you can go to prison check it out uh, some of you i'm pretty sure know exactly uh, what I'm talking about, especially my German friends. And if they don't, well, they should look into it so they don't get arrested and get five years in prison for saying something that uh, they're not supposed to. You know, the emperor has no clothes. So in this case, uh, this article comes from Sputnik and it's from today, the 22nd of October, 2022. Germans rally in Berlin to protest energy crisis measures. This has been happening in the past two three months so they are relentless very good uh, make your voice uh, heard Europe is facing a severe energy crisis with electricity bills skyrocketing after the EU decided to impose sanctions against Russia resulting in a supply chain disruption and lack of fuel so more sanctions for you I guess so protesters protesters in Berlin hold a rally as part of nationwide demonstration against Germany energy policies. Similar events are also being held in Dresden, Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf what the, Frankfurt, Hanover, Stuttgart and other cities. These are big cities, just so you know, if you didn't. The event is called, and I'm quoting, Solidarity Through the Crisis, Create Social Security and End Fossil Ah, I don't like that one. <laughs> Fossil dependencies. And it opposes the measures against the energy crisis by the government of Chancellor Olaf Scholz. People are discontented with soaring energy prices and economic slowdown, demanding more support from authorities. Do you hear that? More support from authorities. Mommy, daddy, help me. You created the crisis by imposing sanctions and I'm coming to give you more power. Good job, German people. Good job, but these are the unions, uh, and it's uh, they're the Greens, you know, because they talk about dependency on fossil fuel. Now I have a few questions uh, to talk about regarding this dependency. So how do you? This is the first step, you know. <clears throat> when we were children, we thought that we all should be good and life should be perfect, and nobody should starve. We should not, but people do. We should all have food and everything we need and mommy loves me never nobody dies any uh, any person uh, uh, nobody dies let's put it this way i'm getting lost in words now um, so uh, we live all forever and we're happy well this is uh, not reality this is an um i don't want to say utopic because it's really crazy <laughs> way of thinking so these guys are doing this they're still at that uh, idea that we should get rid of fossil fuels. Okay, that's nice. That's the first step as a child. I want food now. 
Okay, but <laughs> to get food, you have to go and work. Someone make, have, has to make it, someone has to buy it, someone has to produce it, someone has to deliver it, someone has to be alive, someone has to be able to produce it, someone has to do it in excess, so you can have it, not only his family. So there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things involved here, but you want it now, enough so you can eat. So the same here, we want fossil fuels out, these guys, not we, they. Uh, all right, how do you uh, go about to achieve that? That's the first one. The second one, um, once you do that, let's say you do that, you're going to use wind and you're going to use sun and who knows what, the stars, powers and whatever. Okay, that's good. Then the, uh, the second question is, will that be enough to sustain the same output of energy that right now is supplied by fossil fuel? I really have a, uh, an answer for that, which is no. As of now, all the wind that is around and we are capable of uh, sucking, or the sun with what technology we have right now, will not be able to maintain our standard of living. Our meaning the guys that say they want that. I'm not talking about the person who lives in a village in Romania and has uh, three chicken, a pig, a cow, and he has uh, hay to give them food and have a little garden over there. Not only that guy. That guy is self-sufficient. He's right there. He doesn't really. He has gas from where? I don't know, but he has it. Maybe he's just burning some uh, uh, oil from where? Still has to have fossil fuels. Do you think he's going to have a, uh, panels with uh, solar energy or the windmill? get lost <laughs> okay so anyway and that that's what 90 percent of the world lives like that in that, that those kind of circumstances because calculate calculate how much of this part this world lives in a i don't know this kind of uh, environment 10 percent i give you 20 percent out of this year we're gonna be 8 billion do you have let's say uh, 1 billion living in that i don't think so even in the united states people are still not doing right, not doing great. And this is the, oh my, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's a billion. And the rest, some of them don't, have, most of them, a lot of them, not most, a lot of them don't have access to clean water, medication and all that. And we talk about uh, getting rid of that. The, 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 anyway, let's go move on with this. The problem is <clears throat> the Germans are uh, protesting. That's good. They're good. I think they are just, they just shot themselves in the foot. And unfortunately, these guys uh, call it, <sighs> called the wrong um, the protests are good but I think they are misguided I think it's not to have depend I mean have a dependency on um, and look for alternative uh, sources which is always good more energy is good I think they want to get rid of dependency from the Russian gas or American gas or whomever Arab oil but if you don't produce, if you don't have it in your soil, in your ground, how can you be depend, uh, not be dependent on that? How? You can, unless you take over another land and you go to uh, Lebensstrom or whatever that's called, uh, Hitler wanted to do, right? They said, well, we're uh, um, a society that we are uh, industrialized. We need resources. We don't have it. We need uh, the resources from the uh, Caucasus Mountains, Urals. That's what we need. That's why they came to Russia and get rid of the communists. We need this in uh, Poland, this with the oil fields in Romania. We need this in Ukraine to be able to support our uh, expansion, economic expansion that they had. Are we on the same spot right now? Uh, what are you going to do? So um, it's good that at least these guys protest against uh, shooting uh, Germany itself in the foot by imposing sanctions on Russia. But... Um, you have to uh, you have to communicate you have to deal you have to uh, negotiate you have to uh, engage in trans economic transactions with other people with other nations with other groups because you don't have everything you can't have everything i mean you're depleted of certain kind of uh, resources you need to i give you this you give me this so you will depend on a country or not the problem is you have to maintain a, a good relationship with that country right that has the resources. Well, here, I think all this is artificial. Germany artificially created a problem with Russia right now for um, the operation in Ukraine. They just inserted themselves in something that they did not belong, they belong in. They could have just maintained it over there. They stay there. But no, they did it. And now 
protest and winter is, is drawing near and Germany doesn't have a very mild uh, uh, season when it's about uh, fall or winter. So good luck to them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.